Ham, director, Mackie and Reason. So, so for us, uh, 12 months ago, what we were probably talking about was the, the market opportunity for the industry in terms of $1.2 trillion, uh, 25 billion connected devices, th these types of things. Now what we're focusing on a little bit more is, is um, the, the guy who writes the checks, the, the companies that are buying M2M services and, and how you can best address them. So what I was talking about a lot in my, in my presentation was around uh, channels, go-to-market strategies, the ways that uh, any company that wants to sell into M2M can, uh, can better understand the needs of those, those end customers and can better reflect them and, and, and bring to market a solution that will solve a, a, a real business need. As the industry evolves, we're, we're sorting out some of the problems. Uh, there are things to do with, with globalization, there are things to do with technology uh, standardization and so on. And these things are all being, all, all being kind of um, dealt with. But we get a bunch of new, new challenges and new problems coming up. Um, so you still have the challenge of inertia. You still have the challenge that um, it's very difficult to persuade businesses of, of the, um, some of the benefits of, of deploying machine to machine solutions. And so there's an evangelization role that the, uh, that the network operators and other players have to have to perform. Um, there's also challenges associated with cost. That's always been the case, but what we're seeing now is, is potentially some new um, new technologies, new business models for how how uh, M2M is charged for that might start to address some of some of these challenges, which will result in a significantly bigger uh, market opportunity potentially. So we have to wait to see exactly how these things play out, but there's um, th there's certainly a lot of um, a lot of opportunity associated with solving some of those problems. Okay, next 12 months, uh, we're expecting to see growth in, in a few application areas. One particularly hot one, usage-based insurance, uh, certainly in Europe, because it's, it's stimulated by European Court of Justice, a requirement that you can't distinguish based on, on gender for car insurance. And so we're expecting a lot of usage-based insurance uh, deployments across, across Europe. Um, and we'll continue to see rollouts of smart meter uh, deployments. We'll continue to see more and more connected cars, uh, more and more connected consumer electronics. We've started to see a few uh, cameras and games consoles and we'll, we'll, we'll see some more of, of, of those coming through. There's no real um, uh, hockey stick growth anticipated okay. for any particular sector in the Brilliant. next 12 months, Brilliant. but it's steady growth. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing 25, 30% growth rate in the next two, three years, which is very healthy. And uh, but there's, I wouldn't identify any one single application as really being a killer one. It's a whole range. So uh, really enjoyed the M2M World Congress this year. Loads of great attendees, particularly the the, um, the opportunity to network with with um, all sorts of operators and and, and vendors and a variety of players across the, the value chain I think has been uh, has been superb so yeah great show.